Hello, I'm posting this video to help other people find a fix to this annoying label that comes out here saying, uh, this is with Internet Explorer, it says your, your current security settings put your computer at risk. That pops up because in my Internet uh, security tab I picked that I wanted minimal if no restrictions on what what the internet can do or search so this constantly comes up to remind you it's annoying as hell because being a big boy I know what I want and I don't want to see that and I can't get rid of it and you can see sometimes it's a hassle because there's things behind it that are being blocked so you would think it would be easy enough to, to find but it just wasn't for me and I finally found something that worked uh, it's complicated because sometimes it depends on the version of the Internet Explorer and the Windows system. So I'm using uh, Windows 8, but this works for Windows 7 too, apparently. And um, so let's take a look here, uh, see what we can do. So from here, this is what I really want to get rid of. And I went over to this place, and it looked to me like finally I got an answer. There's a lot of arrogant answers over there saying, well, we don't want to help you because you could get your computer infected. I think they would make good fascist plaques to do on the dark shirts. <laughs> Brown shirts, I mean. All right, anyway, uh, let's let's try it. I'm going to step through it because that's another thing. You get through these solutions, and I think they expect that you know it, and like you should know it, and I don't. So I had to find out any steps that they, they skipped. So first you have to open the, the registration uh, registration edit. And so you do that, you come uh, you, you have to hit the Windows, little Windows button and R at the same time. I'll bring that over. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to we're going to uh, edit the registry. So it's R E G for registry and then edit. Okay, and there we have it. I'm going to try to minimize that a little bit so I can look at the other window too as well. So let's see. All right, so here we can see what we're doing here. It says, uh, I'm going to start all over because I already have it open. Okay, now we'll follow directions here. It says hotkey local H key local machine. I don't know if that means hot. Uh, I don't know where I got that. That's it. So now uh, there it is, local machine. Yeah. Next thing you go to software. Okay. And then the next thing after software, you go to policies. And there it is, policies. Open that up. And then the next thing you got to go to Microsoft. Open that up. See, this is normally closed like that. And then, then you go to Internet Explorer. Oh, here it is. Okay, first, first issue. This security, call it a sub folder or sub key, wasn't even here. So it might be on yours, but for me it wasn't. So that was part of the headache. So first, I click here. Then I right click and go to new and then you click key. You see? So that's what I did. And guess what I typed in there? The word security. See that? Okay, but I don't need it anymore because I just typed it through. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. No, because I, I right click in now. Now in security, you know you can double click security. And it's probably already here because you can't see it. Yeah, let me bring it over here because I got it over on this side. So this now this is the other thing. This part right here, um, this was not here. So that made more of a challenge. So I had to go back to here and then put up yet another sub. Put here new and put another key. Actually, then now you go and you say, well, now I need the D word. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure what it meant, but I said, put in the D word then. 
So you don't put another key, you actually put in a D word. So I go like this, see? and now there it is. I added that D word. Guess what I put in there? I put disable security system check, which is right here. See, that's all. I didn't put the doc reg, but I added that. Okay. So now I'm gonna get rid of this. There you go. I don't need it. Actually, I don't see why I just I'm gonna go over right here. Delete it. Okay. So I'm back to where I was now. You go over to here and you right click it again and you say modify. So now you modify this right here is gonna have a zero. So you want it to have a one. And so you just put one and say okay. And boom, for me. That took care of the problem. So now when I open up Internet Explorer, no more pesky little label down at the bottom. It was irritating me. No end. That helped increase my general love for Microsoft as a company as a whole. Okay, thank you.